Hello, wonderful fifth grade students. Today in writing, we are going to start our new prompt, which are Native American resources. If you have the pictures or the file that I sent, I'm also going to show it to you in this video, um, but have it with you so you can highlight and write and take notes. Remember, you can pause the video at any time. That way you can stop and take notes if you need to. So first, let's go ahead and look at our writing prompt. As readers of history, you have been learning that where you live impacts how you live. Write an informative essay to explain how Native American tribes use the resources of their geographic location. Use information from the passages to support your response. Manage your time carefully so that you can read the passage, plan your response, write your response, and revise and edit your response. Be sure to include an introduction, support for your response, using information from the passages, and a conclusion that is related to your response. Your response should be in the form of a multi-paragraph essay. So let's break this down. What type of essay are we doing? Informative essay. That means we're going to teach someone and to explain how Native American tribes use the resources of their geographic location. So the word resources and geographic location are going to be the most important parts of your essay. It also, pay attention here, multiple paragraph essay, introduction, conclusion, and some sort of support. There are going to be other videos to review what those things are, what all the different parts of an essay should be, so keep an eye out for that when you go to write. All right, let's look at our first source. So again, you should have a copy of this on Google Classroom or somewhere through Class Dojo and in many other places. So you can maybe if you can print this out or so you can see it and pause and write down anything that you think is important or highlight. You may highlight all over this if you have it on your own. Source one, Native American cultures, the Southwest. Paragraph one. The Pueblo lived in compact permanent villages of apartment houses modeled after the cliff dwellings in the ancestral Pueblo, such as the Taos Pueblo, shown here on the right. They were made from stone and adobe, sun-dried clay. When the Spanish explorers saw these huge houses in the 1500s, they called them Pueblos from the Spanish word for village. Already I see some something here what are, how are they using their resources that are naturally occurring just saying farming and hunting most peoples of the southwest combine farming with hunting and gathering the area is covered by desert and gets little rain which makes farming a challenge groups without water nearby relied more on wild foods than on farming the Pueblo people were mainly farmers. They grew corn, squash, beans, and raised turkeys. Later, the Spanish brought new crops, including wheat, onions, and fruit. The Pueblo also hunted deer, antelope, and rabbits, and gathered nuts and berries. The Navajo and Apache were nomadic hunters and gatherers. In time, they learned to grow corn and other vegetables. And later, the Spanish brought sheep, goats, and cattle. So remember, natural resources are what's happening, not being brought, just FYI. Settlements and housing, paragraph three. Families had several rooms that they used for food preparation, sleeping, storage, and worship. When the Navajo gave up their nomadic lifestyle to farm, they made hogans. These were round houses made from stone, logs, and earth. The doorway of each hogan opened to the east to face the morning sun. The Apache, who remained mostly nomadic, built brush-covered huts and skin teepees for shelter. Their less permanent homes were well-suited to their lifestyle as hunters and gatherers. Clothing, pottery, and artwork. The Pueblo Indians wove most of their clothing from cotton they grew themselves. The Navajo and the Apache, through tradi though traditionally, wore clothing made of animal skin and plant fibers. Native Americans of the Southwest are recognized for their amazing ceramic art. 
Pueblo women made beautiful, strong pottery. Often, each family had its own styles, colors, and designs. The women also wove plants into baskets, trays, mats, and sandals. The men made leather goods, bows and arrows, stone knives, and tools. They drilled and polished turquoise and other stones to make beads. Later, they learned to make silver jewelry from Mexican traders. All right, so I'm noticing source one is about the people in the Southwest. Source two says the Great Plains. And even source three is about the Pacific Northwest. So all of these are different regions. All right, so source two, Native American cultures, the Great Plains. Five, food, buffalo hunting. Buffalo meat was the main food of the Plains tribes. At first, most buffalo hunters used bows and arrows. Later, they used guns. They were able to get guns by trading with Europeans. After they hunt, the women skin the buffalo and cut up the meat. Most of the meat was cut into thin strips and dried. Once it was dried, it lasted for a long time. Dwellings, from lodges to teepees. Before they had horses, tribes lived in villages. These villages were along rivers. Some villages had populations of up to a few thousand people. Typically, village tribes planted crops in the spring, spent the summer as nomadic hunters, and returned to their villages in the autumn for the harvest. Dwellings in the villages were mostly dome-shaped earth lodges. These were roofed and walled with the earth, uh, with earth and entered through cover a covered passage. Many Plains tribes gave up permanent villages as they got horses. They became more reliant on hunting bison by horseback. As a result, they adjusted their way of life to match the habitat, habits of the animals. Plains people lived in tents called teepees. These were shaped like a cone. Teepees were made by stretching sewn buffalo skin over wooden poles. They could be taken apart quickly and easily. Usually, they were large enough to house an entire family. Clothing, animal hides, beads, feathers. Plains women made clothes out of animal hides. They decorated them with porcupine quills and beads. Men wore shirt, leggings, and moccasins. In cold weather, they wore buffalo skin robes. These were painted with scenes of battles they had fought. Warriors sometimes wore war bonnets or headdresses made with eagle feathers. Women wore a long dress, leggings, and moccasins. Making tools and weapons. Bows for hunting were made out of wood. Arrows were first made with a sharp stone head. Later on, they were made with metal points. Feathers were tied to the end of the arrow to make it fly straight. Source three. Native American adventurers, tribes of the Pacific Northwest. What is the Northwest region? The Northwest region is along the west coast of the United States. The states that make up this region were Wyoming, Montana, Idaho, Oregon, and Washington. What was the land and climate like here? The Northwest region is along the Pacific Ocean coast. The soil is very rocky, so it does not make for good, for good farming. Like the Northwest region and the Northwest, Northeast region, the Northwest region has very cold winters and warm summers. What Native American tribes lived here? There are many tribes that lived in the Northwest region. Some of these were the Chinook, Tillamook, Coast Salish, and the Tilgit. These groups are well known for their handcrafted totem poles. A totem pole is in front of a home shows that the generations and social rank of the family. What did Northwest Native Americans live in? In the Northwest region, Native Americans lived in plank houses. These homes were made from long, flat planks of cedar wood attached to a wooden frame. Plank houses were perfect for living in cold climates. They did not have any have metal nails to hold on the logs together, so they used wooden pegs instead to keep the rain out. They overlapped the wooden planks. There were no windows, but a hole in the roof let air in and smoke from cooking fires. Plank houses fit more than one family and were used for permanent living. What food did the North, Northwest Native Americans eat? 
Native Americans in the Northwest region got most of their food from fishing. Male tribe members would use bow, bows, arrows, spears, and fish hooks to catch their food. Some of the common animals they ate were seals, salmon, sea otters, and whales. They also ate plants and fruits that were from the forest. What clothes did Northwest Native Americans wear? Tribes on the coast wore little clothing except when it was cold. Many items of clothing were made from cedar bark and helped shield people from the rain and wind. They also wore necklaces made out of beaver teeth, bear claws, and clam shells. All right, so let me go back to our prompt. Remember, informative essay explaining how Native Americans tribes use the resources of their geographic locations. So that is not people bringing things in to give to them. That is what they as naturally found in their region where they are, okay? So good luck. You now have the beginning parts to write your plan. And check out the next video when you are ready on reminding you of what a good solid plan looks like. See you guys next time.